Hello everyone, my name is Gabriel. I'm going to present a work, Toll-Based Learning for Minimizing Congestion Under Heterogeneous Preferences. This work is a joint collaboration between Unicinus, VUB, and URBIS. Efficient urban mobility represents a major challenge in large cities. Traffic congestions incur billions of dollars to the world's economy. A traditional approach to deal with this kind of problem refers to expanding the physical capacity of existing traffic infrastructure. However, this approach has shown ineffective. In fact, it may deteriorate traffic flow even further. So ideally, we should make a more efficient use of the existing infrastructure. In this work, we approach traffic from the perspective of drivers. In the so-called road choice problem, we are interested in how rational drivers behave when choosing routes between their origins and destinations. The answer is that rational drivers choose routes that minimize their travel costs. These costs may include time, money, and so on. When drivers behave in this way, they end up converging to the so-called user equilibrium. In the user equilibrium, no driver can improve its performance by unilaterally changing route. This solution concept is equivalent to the Nash equilibrium. The rule choice problem is modeled by means of a weighted graph and an LD matrix. The graph represents the road network. The LD matrix represents the drivers and their demand for trips. A solution to this problem corresponds to the assignment of a road to each driver. Although conceptually simple, road choice presents two main challenges. Firstly, the process of finding optimal behaviors that translate individual choices into an equilibrium is not simple. The point is that drivers affect the traffic as perceived by the other agents. This makes finding this optimal behavior a moving target. As such, learning becomes an essential ability for the drivers to successfully reach their objectives. The second challenge is that the user equilibrium doesn't represent a system at its best operation. In fact, it could be considerably worse than the system optimal. So the aim here is to enforce agents to choose roads that minimize congestion and thus maximize the social welfare. This is equivalent to minimizing drivers' average travel time. Tolling approaches have shown useful in minimizing congestion and have been deployed for several years. Here, the cost of each link includes not only the travel time, but also the toll value. Drivers then consider both aspects when choosing their routes. In this work, we employ the concept of marginal cost tolls in particular. Such a scheme charges agents proportionally to the cost imposed on others. This is then equivalent to penalizing selfish behavior, which in turn plays a role in traffic congestions. Marginal cost tolling is known to align the user equilibrium to the system optimum. We call this a system efficient equilibrium, since it is an optimum from which no agent wants to deviate from. The weakness of marginal cost tolling, however, is that it assumes the existence of tolls on every link, which tends to be impractical. Moreover, it assumes that drivers weigh time and money in an equal way, which is not really true in practice. So, against this background, in this work, we introduce a multi-agent reinforcement learning algorithm that is guaranteed to minimize congestion under heterogeneous preferences. In particular, the contributions of our paper include an extended version of the rule choice problem that accommodates heterogeneous preferences and side payments. We also introduce the generalized toll-based skill learning algorithm which solves the presented problem. Moreover, we present a theoretical analysis showing that our algorithm converges to a system-efficient equilibrium regardless of the preference distribution. We also ensure that our mechanism is budget balanced and truthful. In order to extend the rule choice problem, we create a parameter eta, which represents the driver's preference 
of money over time. When eta equals 1, the driver prefers to travel faster, no matter how expensive it may be. When eta equals 1, the driver prefers to save money, no matter how long the trip may be. Each driver then perceives the cost of a link as the sum of travel time and toll value on that link. Both are weighted by the preference eta. We also extended the road choice problem to accommodate side payments. These side payments are necessary for redistributing the collected tolls among drivers and to ensure the budget balance. This idea is formalized through symbol rho, which is subtracted from the cost definition. We can also formalize the cost definition for roads. The idea is straightforward. Uh, the, the idea is that the cost of a road is basically the sum of the cost of the comprising links. Hence, all these definitions result in what we call the toll-based road choice problem with preferences and side payments. We now introduced our multi-agent reinforcement learning approach. Drivers are commuters, which repeatedly have to choose roads. We then model drivers as independent Q-learning agents with epsilon greedy action selection and decaying learning and exploration rates. The environment is modeled as a stateless MDP, where each action represents a different road. The road's cost is defined in terms of travel time, toll value, and side payments. We then model our road's reward as its negative cost, which is computed using the agent's preference and the side payment. Maximizing the reward is then equivalent to minimizing the travel cost. Building upon this modeling, we now present some challenges in how our approach deals with them. The first challenge refers to the heterogeneous preferences. Marginal cost tolls are known to align individual preferences to the social welfare. However, when the heterogeneous preferences are introduced, agents are no longer guaranteed to select roads aligned to the social welfare. In order to overcome this issue, it's necessary to ensure that the costs under our formulation with preferences remain the same as under the original formulation. So the idea here is to make agents indifferent to time and money as required by the optimality condition. In this sense, we formulated the toll values so as to neutralize agents' preferences. This means that by employing our tolling scheme, the user equilibrium remains aligned to the system optimum, regardless of the agent's preference distribution. A second challenge associated with tolling schemes is that of budget balance. In general, the rationale behind charging tolls is to cover the operational costs associated with maintaining the road infrastructure. However, the introduction of marginal cost tolls can increase the revenue far beyond necessary, which may be good for the network manager, but not for the drivers. An alternative to avoid this problem is to redistribute part of the total revenue. We formalize such toll redistribution as side payments. In particular, we keep a fraction 1 minus omega for operational costs. The remaining revenue is then evenly redistributed among the agents. In order to ensure that agents are properly compensated for socially desirable choices, the revenue collected in a given OD pair is only redistributed among the agents belonging to that same OD pair. As a result, our method is able to achieve what we call an omega approximated budget balance while preserving the system efficient equilibrium. The third and final challenge refers to preference misreporting. Since agents are self interested, they may misreport their preferences if such behavior brings them some advantage. The problem is that for fixed travel times, toll values decrease monotonically as the reported preference increase. As a consequence, agents are better off misreporting their preference as close to 1. To avoid this problem, we can keep track of agents' choices and then penalize every agent whose behavior is not compatible with the reported preference.
In order to detect such kind of misbehavior, we measure how frequently each agent selects a route other than the least cost one, according to the reported preference. We can then compare the agent's actual behavior against the expected one while accounting for exploration. From this comparison, we can detect cheaters as well as estimate the maximum benefit they would have. Therefore, whenever misbehavior is detected, the cheating agent is penalized proportionally to the maximum possible profit. As a consequence, we can show that trustful preference reporting pays off. Together, our previous theoretical analysis get us ready to our main theorem. Basically, this theorem says that by using our algorithm, agents converge to a system-efficient equilibrium. In the limit, this translates into a price of anarchy of 1. In a nutshell, the theorem is proven by showing that our algorithm reduces the toll-based road choice problem with preferences and side payments to the original toll-based road choice problem. Moreover, since our algorithm employs marginal cost tolls, the equilibrium is aligned to the system option. Furthermore, these observations remain unaffected by the side payments. In order to validate our theoretical findings, we also performed several experiments. In particular, we simulated our algorithm in two baseline approaches. They were all compared on different road networks available in the literature. These road networks include small instances with a few thousand agents in a single OD pair, as well as large instances with hundreds of thousands of agents and also hundreds of OD pairs. So, as the main result of our experiments, our algorithm achieved 99.8% of the system optimal on average. Moreover, the performance has shown insensitive to preference distribution and to the side payments. Likewise, our preference misreporting prevention mechanism has successfully neutralized misbehavior. Also important, our approach outperformed baseline approaches, obtaining closer to optimal results. Together, these results validate our theoretical findings, showing that our algorithm indeed converts to a system-efficient equilibrium. In the end, for the tested cases, this resulted in 10% faster trips. In conclusion, in this work, we presented an extended version of the road choice problem that accommodates heterogeneous preferences and side payments. We also devised a generalized toll based Q-learning algorithm, which is guaranteed to converge to a system-efficient equilibrium. This is possible even in the more challenging version of the road choice problem. Another important feature of our approach is that its performance is not sensitive to heterogeneous preferences, to side payments, and to misbehavior. For future work, we would like to investigate how our toll scheme is affected by MCT error factors as discussed in the literature. We also would like to investigate how other information misreporting could impact the performance of our approach. Finally, we want to extend the algorithm to deal with other congestion-like problems, which include several nice applications, such as smart grids and logistics. If you want further details about this research, please check out our paper. Thank you for watching.